everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new you probably know already what we're gonna do today in this video from the title and probably you know why I'm super excited about what I'm gonna show you because I got a bunch of things from a store I love called Devil Fashion they carry two brands which are Devil Fashion and Eva Lady and if you know me from other social media Eva Lady is one of my favorite brands of all time I love their stuff and I can't wait to show you what I got, so let me grab it real fast. They sent me all of this and I still haven't gone through it, I haven't even picked. I usually do before hauls, but this time I wanted to do it just with you guys because I want to show the excitement of all of these things. And if you're not familiar with this brand, they have a lot of romantic, velvety, vampy things. If you've been here before, you know that's exactly what I love and what I wear in real life. So. <laughs> I know, let's get started because I can't wait to see if things will fit me right or not. The first thing I want to try on is this dress. It is here, so let's unbox it together. It is mostly velvet and mesh. It has a very close neck, which I don't usually wear, but I really love the design and I hope I don't feel too weird with it. And then it has these really nice sleeves. By the way, these are the tags. I know people probably don't care about this, but I think they're so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna try this on so you can see it better. I know you cannot see the full thing yet, but what do you think? I love it. I know I've spoken against huge sleeves like this in the past. I know they're not gonna be the most practical thing in the world, but <laughs> I think they look super cool. And the fact that they're made of mesh and are really lightweight, it's like they're floating around, it makes them really really cool. Anyway, the fabric is extremely soft, both the mesh and the velvet, and the lace appliques here, I'm not sure how to call them, but everything is really soft, nothing feels, you know, tossy and hard and weird and off. I really love it. I have some things from this brand from before, and everything has always been super high quality, the fabrics and design and everything have always been perfect and just like on their photos, like for example the jacket I was wearing right now before this is from them and I've had it for quite some time, I haven't used it to be honest because I don't have any chance to use something like that but I don't want to get rid of it because I really really love the design and it feels amazing back to the dress, I hope you can see it better now as you can see if this one is stunning you can wear this with anything underneath by the way, in case you haven't noticed, because it has these transparent mesh panels on the sides. I also want to show your underwear, but other than that, I'm sorry, but you cannot wear anything with this. I love bodycon dresses, and I think this one fits me quite nicely. Although it's not super tight around the waist, as you can probably tell. But I have a very small waist compared to the rest of my body, so I already expect that. I think it's around 24 inches, I think in centimeters, so it's 60, whatever the equivalent is. So, I already know that most things are not going to be super tight here, and I might be a bit too tight in here, but I think for my body type and how difficult it is to find things that fit me right, this one is a really, really nice fit. At least this brand has my size, which is not the most common thing to find with goth stores, I don't know why. Most places start from a small and just forget about extra small for some reason. Anyway, I'm very happy with this dress, I hope you like it too. I think it's very flattering, probably not the most convenient because you cannot wear underwear with it but other than that I think it's pretty comfy, it's quite stretchy and by the way it's quite long, disclaimer and very very short so it might look slightly shorter on other people but because it's quite tight around the knees it might be a little bit difficult to walk with it I've just tried it on but I think it might be difficult to go up and downstairs not completely sure because it is stretchy but you know it doesn't have any slit at the bottom so it might be a little bit of a problem. By the way, if you like any of the things I'm trying on right now or you like the overall style of this brand and you want to check it out for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description box down below and sign up for their newsletter because you will get a 30% discount code automatically as well as a chance to win a 100 euro coupon code for their store. So 100 euros is roughly $100 by the way. So if you like this, make sure you do that in case you get lucky and you can get free stuff. Moving on to the next item, they also have accessories and I got this. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to wait for this video to open everything because it comes in this nice box and this is how it looks like when you open it. 
I thought this little nest was so cute and I wanted to show you that it comes really well protected. So now that you've seen, let's take it out of the box. I really hope you can see this properly maybe here because it is gorgeous. It's the first time I've seen this in real life and I'm really really in love with it. Anyway, the tag is different because as I told you, they have two brands, Double Fashion, the main one, and Eva Lady, like, I think it's a sub-brand. But let's take it off and try this on. What do you think? So far, I think it's comfortable. I've had problems with crowns in the past. They always, like, poke my head and I don't like wearing them. Maybe it's because I'm wearing a wig. It was a little bit difficult to put it on. But I think right now it's in place and it's not hurting me. But I don't know if it will be like too much for me when some time goes by. So I might leave it on for the entire video and let you know at the end of this video if I am still okay with it. I'm not sure if I will be able to because I'm gonna try on lots of things. So I might have to remove it at some point. But in any case, I'll make sure to let you know if not here in the comments down below. Since there is not much else I can tell you about this right now, I just hope you can see it properly and how beautiful it is. But let's move on to the next one because I have still a few things to show you. I also got this dress and it's here. Let's open it. I know I might forget to say this at some point, so everything in this haul is a size extra small or whatever the smallest was that they made. And I will always write it somewhere on screen. I usually circle the size I get in the screenshot or write it down in the description box. In any case, here is the dress. It looks strapless, but it comes with straps in a bag, so you can put them on if you want to. And the bottom part is transparent, so it's more like a corset with a lace skirt attached to it. So I'm going to have to find something else to wear it with. I had to move the crown a little bit because it was pressing on the sides of my head and it wasn't really comfortable after a while. I don't think it's as secure right now but it's not giving me any trouble and so far I'm really happy with how it feels once I moved it. But let's keep looking at it. Anyway, this is the dress or at least <laughs> the top part of the dress. It's like a bustier and then there's this velvet band and a lace skirt. I'm wearing shorts underneath. The shorts uh, start here, so basically everything below the velvet band is transparent. I'm just letting you know because you cannot wear this on its own. Anyway, regarding the fit, I'm not super happy because... Let's see. Um, you see, I could close it a little bit more, but since it comes all together with the lace part, there's a corset detail on the lace part, I would need someone to help me close it only on the top part and then tie it and then leave the bottom part a little bit more open so I could close it completely. But even then, I think this part is for someone with much bigger boobs than mine. So unfortunately, I don't think it's a really good fit since the top part is the only one that's supposed to fit your body. The rest is just lace. And it's definitely not for my body type. I will try nonetheless when someone helped me to do that and maybe it will improve a lot but without doing something weird to the corset at the back I cannot wear this or it doesn't look properly like it's a lot here and I'm not really sure if it's gonna do that much because it's obvious that the extra fabric is on the front part the sides are where they are supposed to be and I would have to close the corset completely it's not supposed to be completely closed because it comes with a very big modesty panel so I just think this one is way too big for me. In any case, as I said before, I'm really small and I don't have big boobs. I mean, I can wear this, it's not so bad, but since it's a little open here, I'm, I'm afraid that if I bend or something, you're gonna see everything. And it's not the most comfortable feeling. If you've ever felt like that wearing a dress, you, you feel like you're gonna expose something you shouldn't. So this one, not for someone that wears an extra small. If you wear a bigger size or if you have a much bigger cap size, even if you're an extra small, this will be perfect. I know so many people complain that they cannot wear some of the things I show here because they're too small. Around the chest area have the exact opposite problem. So, you know, if it doesn't look good on me, maybe it will look good on those people who usually say they wish things had a bigger cap size. This is for someone with much bigger boobs. 
I almost forgot to tell you this and it's quite important. The dress comes with a zipper on the side so it's easier to put it on and take it off. And it's not stretchy so yeah, this might help you a lot, the seven sizes and all that. Size problems aside, I really like it and I really wish it fit me differently so I would feel more comfortable in it. But let's move on to the next thing because I got this harness. I hope it's not confusing. It, it's only the harness so I'm going to show you right now. As you saw with these things, it's quite difficult at first to know how to put it on, but once you get the trick and you know how it works, it becomes really easy. So give me a few minutes so I can figure this out, but maybe I should show you the details first because you might see it better right now, like this. It comes with feathers and roses, well not really roses, different kind of flowers. And now I'm going to try to find something to wear with it so I can show you. You probably noticed already but I had to take off the crown. It was comfortable for the first 20 minutes. After that, not so much because I had to keep moving it. Where it was comfortable, it could it would keep falling. And where it was really secure, it wasn't the most comfortable. So if you want it for photos, it's perfect. If you want it for an entire day at a festival, wouldn't be my first choice. Anyway, back to the harness, I just threw it on a very basic corset and it makes it look so much better. I really like it. I think I didn't place it completely right because I don't think it's symmetrical at the moment. But you get an idea. It's really beautiful. I think this one was very affordable and it's definitely something perfect to spice up a look that's way too basic. If you're going to a festival or concert or for a special occasion, I think this one is really, really worth it. I'm so glad I found it because initially I was only going to check their clothes, but I'm really glad I checked the accessories because this is really beautiful. And something I think was missing from so many looks I've done in the past where I wore an underbust corset and just a bra or something very basic on top. I think wearing this would have made the look perfect. So I'm super happy that I got this and I... I think it's one of my favorite things from the haul because I know it's something I can use with so many other things. And now finally I got this pair of pants. Let's open them. Look, I'm always scared of buying pants online because I don't have the most standard body type. So I always have to compromise something. I either go for a waist that's too big for me or hips that are too small for me. I hope since this is elastic it will fit me right. I have another pair of pants from them and I got a size small and they were way too big for me. So I went with an extra small this time hoping they fit me better. I know you cannot see the full thing right now but this is how they fit. I'm really glad I got this size. Are they a little bit tight in here? Yes, a tiny bit. I'm not sure if you can tell. There's like indentations where the lace is more like where the flowers are, but would I get a size bigger? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is perfect for me. If I went bigger, the pants would fall down because this part in here would be too big for me. So I'm glad I went with an extra small this time because the other ones were quite uncomfortable because they kept falling as I walked. I'm not sure if this is a matching top, but I've had it for years and I think the model wears it with this in the web photos. So I decided to throw it on since I didn't know what else to wear with it. And the only bad part is that it's very long at the back. So I'm gonna have to show you like this. I hope you can see the pants and how they fit me. I think they're really nice, they're tight, they are stretchy, they're quite comfortable. I really don't mind if they're a little bit tight in here. So, overall, I'm really happy with them. I think they look really, really beautiful. I love the design, especially the beaded flowers in here. And, well, once more, we have these mesh panels that are placed in a way that make it difficult to wear underwear. You can probably see my thumb here. So, this is what they look like. Just didn't feel comfortable wearing them without anything underneath. Other than that, they are a little bit long. I'm quite sure of myself, so that affects what I think about that. But I cannot wear them without high heels. I wasn't planning to. I think this is something that calls for high heels. But I'm just warning you in case you're short and don't like high heels. This is going to be quite long. I 
think that was everything for today's video. I'm quite sad now because I really was in the mood for trying more things on. But anyway, I'm really happy with everything I got except for the dress that didn't really fit me right and was too big for me. I love it, don't get me wrong, but unfortunately it's way too big for me and it was the smallest size available so there's nothing I can do. I don't think it's gonna be easy to fix because it's more like a corset so that's gonna be complicated. So apart from that, I really liked everything in this haul. Probably I, I love the pants a lot so I'm really happy I got them and this time it's my size because I used to get bigger pants in the past and I regret it because I really like the other design a lot and I cannot wear it because it keeps falling down. This time I really, really like it. I would say their sizes run more or less true to size but that depends vastly on what you're used to so I can give you my measurements somewhere and tell you that I got the smallest size for everything and extra small I believe. Anyway, don't forget to check the link below to enter their giveaway and get a 30% discount code for them. You have to sign up for the newsletter but I don't think that's a problem. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it or if you have any questions about the items I tried on, just write it down and I will try my best to answer everyone. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!